What is up, packet people? So welcome back to the channel. So this time I'm gonna throw a packet capture at DeepSeek R1 and see how well it does. Had a lot of really good feedback from my last DeepSeek video, so let's go ahead and see if we can push it a little bit further. Now first I'm gonna take a quick peek at the packet capture that I'm gonna throw at DeepSeek. So here you can see it's just a simple conversation, 93 packets. It's a Telnet conversation. Now I got a couple of reasons for doing that. First, I just wanna see does it recognize that it's Telnet? And second, I know that Telnet is a protocol that sends usernames and passwords in clear text. So I'm interested to see if DeepSeek can pull that out and show that username and password to me. So just like last time, before I can actually send this packet capture to DeepSeek, I first have to convert it to a text file because DeepSeek at this point can't accept raw packet captures. So let's go ahead and do that first. I'm just going to come up here to my top left, going to go to File, Export Packet Dissections as Plain Text, and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to uncheck, uncheck, and just say Bytes. And then I'm going to go ahead and save that file. Now this time I'm going to name the file guess, so that way I don't give it any clues as far as what might be inside that packet capture. So now let's go ahead and throw it at DeepSeek. So here I've got the packet capture on the left and DeepSeek on the right, and I'm just going to throw that text file at DeepSeek. All right, make sure I have my DeepThink R1 checked. And I upload guess.txt, and I'm just going to ask it, how many packets do you see in the packet capture? let it think. Okay, so in the end, it comes up with 44 packets, but if we take a peek over at the actual packet capture, it's actually 93 packets. So DeepSeek R1 didn't quite get that right. But now let's go ahead and ask it what protocol it sees in the packet capture. All right, so I'm sure you've seen this a ton of times, as I have too, that the server's busy, but you know, the whole world is hitting it. So let's go ahead and try it again. In fact, I'm going to back up and I'm just going to reload it and just upload that file again and see if it can identify the protocol. All right, so R1 is having a day. Hey, it happens to me just as it does to you, everybody. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck R1 and just see if it can identify some basic things about the packet capture. So I'm just going to see what protocols are in the packets in this capture file. All right, and V3 comes back pretty quickly. R1 must be super busy, but it's able to identify. We can see it's doing its analysis. All right, so it identifies that there's a Telnet session there. So let's go a little further. Let's see if it can figure out that username and password. All right, it gives me the login page, and sure enough, it identifies the username, figures out the password. It's able to extract that from the packet capture. All right, DeepC, good for you. So even V3 was able to do that, extract the username and password, didn't have to use R1, but it is pretty interesting. Even R1 did get the initial packets wrong. So we can see that it's not necessarily better for packet analysis as of yet, or at least that workload. I'm going to keep tinkering with it and see if there's any points that it's stronger at. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. I'll see you again on another video.